What's up? What's up? How you guys doing? Four people? Wow. I'm blessed. I got a new spot. Got skis. I started skiing. Hitting the Alps, the slopes. You know? I've been practicing. No? No? I don't know. I ain't never been skiing in my life. What's up? Four people, what's up? How you guys doing? I had a, um, conducted an interview today with Mr. Josiah from the Digibyte Foundation. It was fire. He's a nice guy, man. He's a nice guy. Five people? Wow. The wolf pack's growing in numbers. I like it. Waiting for the Joe interview. Shh. I know. It's quick. It's quick. I got to I gotta have a second to cut it up, man. Come on. Hey. Well, we had a good conversation. We, got, we talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about Pokemon cars. <laughs> we talked about the hell is we talking about? NBA cards? We just started talking about cards. <laughs> What'd you guys expect? Five people was good. What up, Dub? Nothing much, man. I'm just kicking it. I started skiing. Actually, guys, one time, like, I've only gone, like, snowboarding once. I've never skied. I went snowboarding once on the bunny hill. I went, I started going real fast. I said, oh, my God. Twisted my ankle. I was out. First time. You know what I'm saying? You live, you learn. I'm not made for the snow. I'm better on the internet. What up, Dub? Will's ready to buy more blood. LOL. Laws. <laughs> Guys, I'm all hyped up because I've been drinking coffee and listening to Dead Mouse. That's how my day's going today. I'm sweating and stuff. I'm already sweating. Damn. Hey, so like I'm in, I'm in like, uh, um, shoot. I'm in uh, California. And it's hot as hell down here, man. I know it's not as hot as like other places, but dang, I ain't used to it. I have to have the window closed because the little dogs out there be barking. Ruthless. Did you say Digibyte? Oh, yeah. I said Digibyte. What up, Wolfpack? Great crypto storage video. Great, De great DeFi. What? Yeah. Great humble investor call. Great DGB. Great week. I like it. Five people. That's a lie. Farm the osmosis. While yield is still hot. Elaine Brown, what is it? Well, I haven't even looked at it. I should probably look at it. <laughs> What's the AP, uh, APR? Yeah, APR still. Is it still like the 1000s or whatever? And did you have, did I did I hear that you had like osmosis bags sitting there? Because you had like Cosmos at a certain date? That's hot. Guys, make sure to go to, what is it? App.osmosis.zone. And if you had a uh, Cosmos sit in your wallet, Around February 18th or 12th, I forgot, of this year, you should have some like free money sitting there. I know some people hit me up and like, hey, duh, I got I got monies. And I was like, oh, that's tight. That's tight. I like that. I like it. Nine people was good. Shiba in you. Mm. Shiba in you. What's it doing? I, I retitled the um. I got like a channel audit done, guys. So like I retitled like the uh, stream name, but it's still Crypto Kickback. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know it already. Know. Don't don't trip. Don't trip. Let's see it. Shiba Inu down almost two percent. Well, that's not that bad, man. Hey, look at it. Look at it. It came down a whole bunch. So guys, if you are new to crypto, just just so you know, like nothing goes up straight forever. Nothing goes down forever. Unless it's a scam. Unless it's a scam, not financial advice, unless it's a scam or a hack. But you know what I'm saying? Almost everything, you know, ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows. Shiba Inu shot up. And every, right here, guys, everyone was saying, oh, Shiba Inu is a bomb. I love it. I love it. love it. And they fell down. And everyone hates Shiba Inu. But notice, like, emotions are very, like, counterintuitive, man. Like, if you go off of what you feel, you're always going to be on the wrong side of the trade. I mean, you know, your wallet's not going to like that. Someone else's wallet might like that. 
But right now, like, if you guys are bullish on Shiba Inu here, like, I picked up a little, um, I'm going to be real, I picked up a little bit down here. I did. I did. I did. Why? Because this is a risk-reward ratio I can deal with. This is one I don't want to deal with. You know what I'm saying? But I'm looking at it just like without zooming in or anything like that. I guess I could zoom in. I'll stop being lazy. This is W right here. It double bottomed, right? So uh, this is this Chihuahua over here, man. He'd be going wild. <laughs> but double bottomed, right? So that's telling me like around this point right here, rose up, dipped again, didn't go below. Now it's rising up. We want to see some volume come in here, but, you know, in due time, in due time. The double bottom's looking cool. It's not making, like, this rounding saucer shape, right? And we talk about saucer shape being, like, accumulation pattern, a macro over a long period of time accumulation pattern. So I'm a, I'm, I have a little Shiba. I mean, I know people are all up in it. People in Doge are in Shiba. <laughs> people who are in Doge and Shiba, they, they got... I don't know if you call it strong hands, but they keep buying the coin. It's a cash grab to me. It's cash grab. Cash grab. 11 people. What's good? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ship army? Dang. For real? There's a ship army? I didn't even know that. What's up, people? Going down. 400 to... 400 to 100... 1,500% now. It went up or it's down to 400? Yeah, got 372 in drop. There's an expiration to claim drop. 47 more days. Oh, wow. So people are probably going to like lose their... Because no one knows about it. Almost no one knows about like the osmosis like zone. So guys, make sure to go in there before, you know, the next month or so so you don't lose free money. That'd be a shame, wouldn't it? 11 people, what's up? Hey, how's my um how's my stream quality? I'm st I still got struggles, man. I still got struggles. I got the Ethernet in. I got the thing plugged in. Come on. I gotta check. Hold on. I'm plugged in. I'm charging. Hopefully it's okay. Let me know. Let me know. I'm looking. We barely got anyone here. Let me know before you know. Start making fool of myself and stuff. Balancer is great for noobs. Stream quality is poor. What the hell? Why? Son of a snitch. I'm going to turn my phone off the internet like it will do anything. <laughs> I don't know, guys. You would think internet. I got a internet running all the way from the living room in here. I guess I got to sit on the modem. What's my video card? I guess I should know that, huh? I don't know. I don't know. Damn, I don't even know what to do now. It's better some days, right? Maybe it's the skis. You think it's the skis? Is it better now? It's not saying it's poor. <clears throat> Hopefully it's better, guys. Is it better? I didn't do anything. <laughs> it's the life of a wolf. Ten people. Damn, see, I'm losing people, man. Bull, that's bull. But anyway, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Balancer. We're talking about this balancer. It's better. I didn't do anything. Maybe you heard me. Maybe I should talk shit about my computer more often. Balancer is great for a noob. Getting all up in DeFi ecosystem. It's just easy, but I got to see which exchanges will allow me to maxify, maximize my assets. Icon shows love with the airdrops fire. Yeah, have you guys heard about like the air? I haven't seen that, like the date of when they're taking the snapshot for the airdrop for ICE, which is like the EVM compatible coin that they're making. So you guys don't know, didn't hear about it from last streams. Icon's doing an airdrop with a date that's not known at this point, at least to me right now. Doesn't mean it's not out there, but I haven't heard it. And I'm all up in it. Um, they're going to do a one-to-one -one airdrop with a token called ICE. 
That's launching later this year. If you miss Spark or Flare or whatever they're calling that crap for XRP, if you missed Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, if you missed Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, if you missed any of those, well, there's some coins doing that now. There's nothing better than free money, guys. Damn. I got um I got the uni airdrop. That was hot. I like it. Cheers, a better um stream quality. I don't know. Hey, any of you guys have that Starlink? You guys have Starlink? I, I know, I know, I know. It's it's Elon's thing, but like, damn, come on. Come on. I'm just I'm just curious. No? See, I lost somebody. God. You need to upgrade to a gamer computer. Yeah, I know. I got a gamer computer. That's the thing. I've I've ran this thing into the ground, bro. I used to make music on it. I edit videos on it. It's always overheating. It's about that time to get a new one, huh? Damn. It's a couple years old. Yeah. It's like, if you guys can't hear it in my videos sometimes, it's like, it's dressing, and I'm like, shut up, computer. And it's like, bro, I'm hot over here. Blowing on it and stuff. Mm. That's the life. 13 people, what's up? They announced another one, OMM. Icon's airdropping another coin? Whoa. Okay, so are you serious for Icon? So Ice, OMM, then freaking Flare. We're getting Spark. Then why Spark? <laughs> Wow. This is not normal. <laughs> Last cycle, we never had like these airdrops. This is tight. Uh, internet's giving me money and stuff. That's weird. I'll take it. Any suggestions on locking games this winter? USDC, Tether, etc. I mean, I would go USDC if anything. Reason being is the homie um, Brian Brooks, who used to be comptroller of the currency for the United States, um, he first worked at Coinbase, right? And he helped establish USDC. Then he went to work for the comptroller of the currency or was like the head of honcho over there. I forget his title. And then he like had a public like media announcement saying like praise in Ethereum. So you put two and two together. Also, there's a whole bunch of people talking about Tether being unstable and imploding and all that. And, you know, USDC just looks like a better look. If anything, then die. But, you know, sometimes die loses its peg. But I guess anything could lose its peg. So I'm not going to discriminate. But yeah, I, I'd say USDC. And depending on if you're concerned about inflation or not, maybe looking to PAX Gold. Dub Digital, I mean, PAX Gold, like, how are you going to, like, that's not the same thing as physical. How are you going to get your claim on the gold? And that's a good point. I'm not quite sure. But if you're trying to get an asset that tracks gold, right? That's like a very stable asset in comparison to crypto, right? It's almost like a stable coin, but it also appreciates in the face of inflation. So it really depends on what you think is going to happen in the future, right? Are you are you bullish the dollar because you think a big contraction is going to come and a dollar the dollar strength rises? Then yeah, stable coin makes sense. If you think inflation is going to continue, then something like Pax Gold or a pre precious metal backed crypto or gold backed crypto, not silver, makes sense. If you don't know and you want to hedge it, do it 50-50. Bada bing. But both of them you can use on the decks and get in and out of crypto whenever you want. That's why I say that. Zcash. Proof of work. Let's look at it. Zcash. Uh, 130 bucks. Wow. Wow. Wow, this thing almost dipped down to like a hundred bucks or so when it crashed down. That was almost at my like pickup point. I picked it up at 90 bucks. I think I did my I think I did my video tell, telling you guys about it around a hundred, around a hundred bucks. So hey, it's right back where it was. This thing ran up ultimately to $318. Not bad. But you'll notice, guys, look, look, this is the, it got rejected right at a cyclical high that was set in 2018. May 14th of 2018. Then it starts falling in May 2021. Wow. Almost exactly like two years after. Like, that's crazy how cyclical this is. Now it fell down. 
Do you think it's the death of Zcash? Uh, you know, what I'm going to say, like, I think we're still on track for the macro bull to continue. I think this is a breather, a consolidation, because, you know, everything, like, moves and ebbs and flows, just like the ocean, just like the, the tide, right? So this next pump, I think, will get us up to here. 900 bucks, I think, or so. And then, you know, beyond. I think Zcash belongs in the thousands, especially because it had a halving that no one freaking cares about. <laughs> no one freaking talks about. It was November 2020, right? So, like, everyone's just acting like Zcash, whatever. Zcash is always trash. It's always, like, it's on every exchange. Robert Ro Roger Veer was one of the early investors in Zcash. Electric Coin Company. Zuko Wilcox. Big names. I don't know. Not financial advice. 19 people, what's up? What role will blockchain take place in restructuring the world economy? What blockchains do you think are positioning themselves to play a main role in the change besides BTC, etc.? Well, so what role will blockchain take place in restructuring the world economy? Well, we're going from in the in the most okay, so this is like my thoughts, right? So you take it with a grain of salt. But we're going from a credit-based system to an asset-based system at the very purest form. There's a kid screaming out there. Am I hit him with one of these skis? No, I'm not. YouTube, calm down. Calm down. But um, so basically what that means is you know how everything runs on credit cards and credit and people have to pay back the credit cards and all that. Well, and they have access to cheap money or loans. Well, essentially what that's saying is that money's going to dry up and go away. Everything's going to be pretty much debit based. The difference between a credit card and a debit card is the credit card, you could spend beyond your means. With a debit card, you can't. We're going from a system where you could spend beyond your means to the new one, which is you can't, right? Crypto is asset ba uh, backed money, just like gold and silver is asset backed money. Fiat money is a credit instrument. It's a, it's a liability because it's owed back to the central bank. Cryptocurrency is like something that you own. You have. It's in your wallet. It can never be taken from you. It's not an asset. It's not a liability to you, basically. So what that's saying is like it's going to be a huge shift because we're fundamentally changing the way the economy works, right? So like basically what I'm saying is there's going to be like a rift. If you think the the wage disparity and like the wealth disparity is big now, just wait until we go into a system where people cannot spend beyond their means. They don't have access to easy money. You only have access to easy money if you have that digital collateral or assets to put up to get an asset back loan. So so basically what I'm saying to you is I see a world where middle class kind of shrinks. And there's really a bifurcation between those who have and those who have not, right? Be that's what I see coming down the line. Which ones are positioning to do that? I mean, like be a main role, obviously Bitcoin. I mean, Ethereum, obviously, just look at how what Wall Street thinks of it. They're going to make sure and it succeeds probably. Anything that kind of, that's hard, man. I, I think like they all have a, a niche. And, they're, and so, some of these niches are so new, like they're still trying to shake, get out. Like DeFi, who knows a DeFi interoperability? We have about three or five, five projects that are seriously gunning for that position. Um, fractionalized real estate, we have about two projects. I look at it in, as niches. As far as who's going to win, that's kind of speculation. But I noticed that like there needs to be a winner in some of them. Like fractionalized real estate, that's going to be a home run, right? Is it going to be Proppy? Is it going to be Labs? Time will tell. But in terms of privacy, like let's talk about like privacy. Like I think there will be a need for privacy in this new system. I think Zcash is a is a front runner in terms of compliant privacy because you have the ability to turn privacy on and off in transactions. Monero will win in terms of not compliant because there's always going to be a market for not compliant. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's different use cases when you believe in interoperability. There's different use cases, right? So pretty much anything like I have a video on, I see a use case for. Will it be the ultimate winner? I don't got a crystal ball. 
But just look at the niches, right? Like oracles, DeFi, real estate, NFT platforms. Um, I think the main the main competition has been a form of money, right? Sound money, right? We got like the proof of work coins that are still trying to like compete against each other. Bitcoin's been showing some weakness. It's really stepping back and saying we're store of value. I think they've won that. I think they've won that um, use case. But then there's the quick everyday transactions. We got Litecoin. We got Bitcoin Cash. I, I can't tell you who's going to win because it ultimately plays on plays out on, you know, what happens in the world, long and and stuff. But hey, that's a complicated one, man. What do you think about H bar? I think H bar is going to be is is a very good network for corporations and private blockchain. Or well, not blockchain, but you know what I mean. It's Hashgraph. I know, I know. But I'll just say blockchain so people can understand like what I'm talking about. Yeah, H bar is. Some people say it's centralized, right? Some people would say it's centralized, and rightly so. But it's it's spread out across many corporations, and it's a it's a network for corporations. So what people like the main gripe on it is like, oh, you know, you have these these corporations running the nodes, securing the network. What happens? They collude with each other. Hey, different strokes for different folks, right? You have different tools to accomplish different things. Whatever that would be a problem for a public blockchain, but not for a highly tailored, highly performant blo um, network like Hedera Hashgraph offers big corporations and clients, right? And that's why I'm talking about interoperability. I see a world where private will connect to public, right? And it'll flow like water in and out because you're not, come on, come on, guys. You think Google, you think Boeing wants people to run up all in their stuff and see everything? No, no, they don't. They never want that. So they're not going to pick a blockchain that does that. That's why HBAR offers them so much, so much like performance but also allows them to tailor and tweak and just kind of do whatever they want. That's stuff that corporations like, even though, you know, it's not the true ethos of crypto. We're getting beyond that in my view. We're starting to get subsets of use cases. T tell me there's not a lot of money going back and forth between Boeing and Denton's and Shinhan Bank and, you know what I'm saying? So people get really caught up with like, Oh, uh, this isn't the ease of the crypto and this and that and whatever. Hey, same thing with EOS. Like, it's not really built for us. It's built for big corporations trying to do big things. I don't know about you. All money's green. Stream quality is awesome, homie. Hey, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Got better. It hurt. Sometimes my, my computer be hearing me talk about it. Sometimes. You know, what's wrong with CoinZoom and its debit card? It seems like a legit project, but it gets no love or usage. CoinZoom, is that a coin? What the hell's CoinZoom? I never heard of it. Oh, CoinZoom. Hold up. Five cents? Well, it's pretty new. I What the hell is this? Better testing. Okay. You got to go to the website. But I mean, damn, it's pretty much where it was like a year ago, November. Let's check it out. 25 people, what's up? I got a new intro, guys. I made a new intro today. Fire. It's fire. We're loading. We're loading. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Next generation cryptocurrency exchange. Buy, sell, spend Bitcoin and more. Hmm. CoinZoom Global Debit Cards. Easily spend fiat and crypto balances over 53 million merchants. Based by sponsored by Visa, security regularly and compliant, Zoomy, deep liquidity. Huh. Premier Fiat Gateway, card to crypto, crypto to card, Zoomy. Instant international peer-to-peer -peer fiat or crypto money transfer. Did we mention it's free? <laughs> Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know much about it. This is the first time I heard about it, but is there like rewards for the debit card? Cause right now, like I, I used to use, um, 
what do you call it? Swipe, but I had a bad experience. I told you guys about this like a million one times. Like I actually got it stolen out of the mail. I hit him up. I said, hey, can you send me another one or whatever? Like got stolen and like nothing, crickets for like five, six months. So it is what it is. I gave him every every chance to right the wrong. Bailed. I'm on crypto.com now. It's tight because it, the, the card's metal. It's sexy. You throw it at a waiter and you're like, hey, hey, bro, catch that. He's like, whoa, whoa, what is this? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Swipe it. Swipe or no swipe it. Um, but I get like, you know, I think Ruby Red is 2%. Oh, yeah, and in my description, guys, I put like some links, helps the channel, just some affiliate stuff. If you guys are going to be getting that stuff anyway, it'd be cool. Don't have to, though. But I also have a sign up for the crypto.com card where if you like stake your, your crow or whatever the hell was it. Yeah, it's crow. Crow coins, like 400 bucks worth. And then you get like a ruby red card. I think you get like $25 and stuff, I think. Whatever. Read the description. But what's this? You get money back? That's kind of the only reason people get these crypto cards, though. I like the money back. 24 people, what's up? INJ versus I M I R versus SNX question mark. Let's see. These kids are going insane out here, man. I'm, I'm like an old man out here. I'm like, get off my grass. INJ. So injective protocol versus mirror protocol versus SNX. Injective is on Ethereum, right? What is mirror on it? Okay, so I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I, like compared to like prices and stuff, they're all kind of low. This is injective. Injective's cool. They're trying to do like stuff with derivatives and whatever. But so is SNX, and so is Mirror Protocol. <laughs> like I know Mirror Protocol though. I think um they're gonna have a derivative for silver. That's cool. It's a good question, bro, because like there's they're pretty much doing the exact same thing. I hear what you're saying. And this is like one of those niches I'm talking about. SNX for the most part, it's like the blue chip. It was the one that took off first. I'll show you real quick. I'll tell you what. Whenever this loads, shoot. I saw SNX at 80 cents, man. You freaking kidding me? <laughs> Damn, this was a killer, but it came down, man. Like it came down seven bucks. It hit damn near twenty-seven dollars. So in terms of like name recognition, SNX is killing it. It was the first like mover advantage. A mirror protocol. I know that's an up and comer. Injective's cool. I mean, they're working with Unilend, some others. Mirror protocol. See, this is newer. This looks like that. You know, this looks like this pattern. It's like that Bitcoin pattern after March of 2020. Drop down, boom. I look at people buying this bottom. They buying it up. I'd like to learn more about Mirror. Let's do it. That's what these streams are for, guys. Hold up. Gotta wet my whistle. You guys ski? No? Snowboard? Shredding the powder? Is that what they say? Put the powder? Okay, let's see. Mirror is the governance token for Mirror Protocol. a synthetic asset protocol built by Terraform Labs, TFL, on Tierra blockchain. Mmm. Really? Dang. Okay. Mirror Protocol is decentralized from day one with the on-chain treasury and code govern changes governance or governed by holders of the Mirror token. TFL has no intention of keeping or selling mirror tokens, and there are no admin keys or special access privileges granted. The intent on this or for this is to be completely decentralized, community-driven project. Mirror assets are blockchain tokens that behave like mirror versions of the real-world assets by reflecting the exchange prices on-chain. They give traders the price exposure. Yeah, see? The price exposure to real assets while enabling fractional ownership open access and censorship resistance as any other cryptocurrency. Yeah, see, like, very similar stuff. Same thing with SNX and Injective. I think Injective, though, is going harder on, like, traditional assets like 
like derivatives and stocks and stuff, as far as I can tell, but it's only a matter of time till SNX does it. But let's see it. Mirror protocol. Because I know a lot of people are excited about this thing. Assets reflected on the blockchain. How it works. Mirror protocol allows the creation of fungible assets, synthetics, that track the price of real-world assets. Mirror synthetics are in intended to be used as key building blocks and smart contracts and to bring the world assets to the blockchain. You can mint mirror assets. Da, 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 okay. It's, it's boring. The car prat. Okay, we're not going to get on that. You guys can read all that. It's all boring. I'm going to lose people who read that. Mirror wallet, Tierra Swap, mirror app, and whatever. What's your partners? You got partners? Hey, mirror. We're your partners. No, partners. Mm. But, like, hey, hear me out on this. I've been thinking about it. So, you know, like, I'm like a hard asset kind of guy, right? Crypto, land, precious metals. I've always been, like, thinking, like, what happens when, like, precious metals, like, dry up? Because they're not fungible like crypto is. You can split one Bitcoin into a million pieces or a million Satoshis. You can't do that with an ounce of silver or gold, right? It'd be like microscopic pieces. It's not doable. So in essence, in theory, like it should run out at some point, right? People are trying to buy it. And why don't you go to a synthetic asset, like, like a platform like this, like mirror, like synthetics, like injective. Then you could track, track the price and write it up when there's no more left. Get the price action, you still make the value back in Bitcoin, even if people can't buy it on the open market. Genius. 25 people, what's up? It's good enough, homie. And I'm on my phone. Oh, that's tight. That's tight, bro. Android or, or Apple? I got an Android and like. Everyone be clowning me when I send pictures. It's messed up. I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> What's up, BB? Nothing much, dude. Nothing much. Nothing much. You know? You know how it is. Just chilling. Just chilling. Hey, you guys want to see my new uh, intro? Want to see? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you real quick. Check it out. I made this. Bang. You like that? You think of that? Oh, my connection sucks again, man. Dang. Well, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I got some design work done, man. Starting to roll out some. Got some new stuff. Got new new. There's time to get on Zcash proof of work. There's always time to get on Zcash, but like to be honest, dude, like people be sleeping on Zcash. Same thing with like Litecoin. I remember Litecoin was like two bucks, three bucks, then it ran up to 400 bucks. And everyone at that time wanted to buy Litecoin at 400 bucks. No one wanted to buy it at two bucks. Right? So like Zcash was freaking like 20 bucks at one point, even less probably. It was at two digits for the longest time. It just barely broke three digits. The highest point at what? It hit 300 bucks? That's nothing. Right? It's like what? 21 or 28 million coin supply. Supposed to be interoperable with or like we work in tandem with Bitcoin. You could even store Bitcoin and Z addresses in private wallets. I don't know. I don't know. I think people are sleeping on Zcash, but you guys know that. 25 people, what's up? Dang, why? Is... What the hell is going on? The chat sucks again, huh? Or not the chat, but the stream sucks again. I I I, I gotta get a new computer, I guess. Damn. Tell crypto go back up. Give me another computer. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Tell us your blue chips, Dub. I mean, hey, let's go on. Uh, I got a bunch of them. I can't name them off the top of my head. We have a whole bunch of coins. Stream sucks. Shout out to the stream. All right. I mean, Bitcoin, <laughs> Ethereum. I got some Cardano. Um, Bitcoin Cash. Like blue chip as in like, I say like the top 25. 
that's pretty high up and like that's pretty high up right litecoin chain link i never got into theta but i hear Theta's gonna be doing big things a lot of like um nft stuff happening with theta right now like the world series of poker actually Gee, hold up let me pull that up that'd be that'd be worthwhile Check this out. You guys know about this? Data drop. Katy Perry be dropping. Look, you guys know this? Katy Perry's dropping an NFT on Theta. Q4 2021. California girls. You know what I'm saying? That's up. That's what's up. They got World Series of Poker. There's this dude, Mike Sexton, looking all, you know, looking, at, looking like he needs some milk. Data Zilla? <laughs> BitBoy is doing an NFT on Data. Oh. Mi corazón. But yeah, yeah, Data's hot. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you another one that I got into. I got an NFT. I bought my first NFT. I gotta show you guys what I got. Uh Theorem Classic. That's one I think's super, super overlooked. Dude, I was buying Ethereum Classic down here. Everyone was saying, oh, like, see this? $5? This is when it was getting all hacked. There was, like, a period in time it was getting all hacked because it lost a bunch of, like, mining support. Getting hacked in a half. And Cardano stepped in. He's like, we'll save you. Bitcoin is like, we could merge mine with you. I was like, why is everyone trying to save this coin if it was crap, right? I kept buying it. Look how freaking high this thing went, right? Almost 200 bucks from $6. Look at this. The last thing I saw that moved this parabolically was Matic. You think this is just a fluke? I don't know about all that. 21 people. What else? Um, Never gone to VeChain. That's cool. I think EOS will move back into the top 25 at some point. I mean, with the bullish global thing going on. I think Tezos, they have a lot of stuff going on all over the world. South Korea, Michelson, Masters and stuff. Working with Reno, Nevada, building a DAO for an American city. That's crazy. Imagine buying a piece of the Reno economy on the decks. I don't know many coins that can do that. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. We keep going down. I could go down all day, right? That's what it is. But um, real quick, real quick, I want to show you guys this. So I bought my first NFT. I know. I know. It took forever, huh? I want to show you guys a new trend, right? Because, like, I'm all about utility, man. Like, I'm not about buying all these, these pieces of art and, like, it just is nice to look at. I don't – that doesn't do it for me. I got to have something that has, like, utility. This is something I think is going to be, like, the next tier up for NFTs. I went to the wrong one. Where Where is it? Coin desk, no, no, no. Lamelo ball. I bought the Lamelo ball NFT. Twenty-two people. What's up? You guys hear about this? Bet you didn't. Not a lot of people heard about it. It was very quiet. I actually saw it. I just found it. I was on the internet, being a being a geek, playing around like, mm. and then like a brave ad popped up. And it's like Lamelo balls NFT last day for the sale. I was like, what? This is fake. I go on his Twitter. It's not fake. Looking around, Coin Market Cap. I mean, a uh, Coin Telegraph talking about it. So I went in and I got it like a couple hours left in the sale. So sorry about not telling you guys. I didn't know myself. But the world's first dynamic NFT collection powered by EtherCards and Chainlink. So Lamella Ball teamed up with EtherCards and Chainlink. Top Digital, why the hell is he partnered up with Chainlink? I'm going to show you. Well, I can, I can read it. Lamella Ball collectibles contain supercharged NFTs tethered to NBA uh, tethered to NBA phenom Lamella Ball statistics, awards, and highlights. Owners of the NFT will be entered into ver verifiably random draws to win never-before-seen memorabilia, participate in Lamella Ball's endorsement deals, and unlock VIP access to exclusive chat groups with Lamella himself. The initial supply of Lamella Ball's collectibles will only be available in June 2021. So basically, guys, like. There was one of like a one of a kind NFT, and they it was like up for bid, and the person who won paid thirty ether, right? 
That's crazy. And you get all this kind of stuff, right? Like one signed official physical LaMelo ball goal collectible, one signed official uh, physical LaMelo ball team jersey, some shoes he wore during his triple-double game, all that stuff. And then there's like different tiers, right? And each tier is related to a statistic. And the statistics are fed into like the blockchain ecosystem through Chainlink, from the NBA to Chainlink. And as he scores points, as he gets steals, as he gets assists, and this one was the rookie of the year as like a special edition. These things change. They actually physically change. But that's not the only cool thing I think is like cool about it. You get airdrop like money based on the endorsement deals he gets throughout his career. So basically, this is not just a product or NFT put out by an NBA player or an athlete. This is like get buying a share in the continued success of Little Metal Ball's career. Because you're getting brand deal money, right? So I got this blue Neptune. I got a couple of these. And like you're supposed to get like guaranteed $150 plus out of his brand deals. You could win like weekly like merch from his brand. Someone's going to win his high school championship ring. All this stuff has money behind it, guys. Like, you know, raffle off NBA tickets and you get like raffled into like signed autograph stuff. That's super cool. I don't know. But I think that's the future of NFTs, guys. Like, to be honest, like, it's got to be more than just graphics. It's got to have some utility. It's got to have some perks, right? And there's nothing cooler and makes people more invested in the athlete or just a celebrity in general or whatever than actually being rewarded based on how successful they are in the real world. I think that's the new trend, guys. Like, if you see any more dynamic NFTs come out, psh, Best believe I'm going to be all over it because at the end of the day, it's like as they mature, as they succeed, so does your investment. What do you guys think? 25 people, what's up? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to improve the stream. Each ain't greater than H bar. They're not even the same thing. I don't even get that. What? They're not the same Use case, how are you comparing that? One is supply chain oriented. One's like an ecosystem within itself. VeChain is slotted for like RFID tracking, inventory tracking. So how exactly have you made a definitive statement that it's better? Not sure. You hear about Humble tokenizing a rental property they bought. They transition to use cases is exciting. I didn't hear about that. They're tokenizing a real estate property? Where? What is it? Hmm. That's cool. Tokenizing a real estate, guys. That's the future. You ever want to own a building in, I don't know, some high-value real estate in Tokyo, New York? Don't have enough money to put up for the whole building? You don't have to anymore. Own a percentage of the building. You get a percentage of the profits. Psh. That's sick. I just wonder, like, what happens when someone, like, wants to sell a physical aspect of the real estate? Like, someone's like, I'm going to sell. They're like, okay, sell your NFT. They're like, no, nah, I'm going to sell the door. I'm like, no, nah, we need the door. <laughs> Dang, my stream is sucking, man. Connection is unstable. You think it's my graphics card? I got too many stuff open? Dumb. Hold up. Let me um, play around back here. Let's see what's up. Right? Shouldn't like an Ethernet people fix that? Huh. Maybe I should unplug it. I'm unplug it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to replug it. Oh my God. It's not any better, huh? Damn. Welp. I don't know what to say, guys. 
I don't know what to say. I think my internet was better in the closet. Dang. Amplifier or some shit. That's that's a thing, right? Amplifier. What's going on with my green screen? What's going on? Help. Help. <laughs> Help. <sighs> well, I look like an IT guy, man. I'm just trying to stream a shit. What's good, guys? 20 people? Wow, I only lost like five people. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm getting better every day. Now I just got to get a new computer, man. But I don't want to sell any crypto. I also need to buy new clothes. But I don't want to sell any crypto. I can wait. I can wait. I can wait. What's up? 18 people. Damn. Okay, hold up. FYI, Luna has 20 plus weekly airdrops in the works for stakers. Most of them dropping for years every week. Mm. Hey, um, persistence. Persistence has a similar model. Where like right now for the first two years because they're early they're they're pumping up their um persistence they're pumping up their um like yields like thirty five percent to attract people in but then they're doing something like Tierra Luna where they they stop dropping you like so much of their coin and drop other coins that are supported onto the platform which is pretty interesting I kind of pulled up before but it's it's like not really known right now I wonder what the price is. XPRT. Let's see. I gotta re um reshare because I dropped out. Share. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Persistence nine bucks. Wow. So guys, um, there's only thirty million in circulation right now. Total supply it says one hundred and eight, but it's like four hundred thousand over the next fifteen years. But one hundred and I don't know. I should say 400,000. But basically, like, <laughs> to get, like, in the 1 milli of available coins right now, you just need 30 of them. That's, like, not even, well, I don't know. What? What is that? Not even 300 bucks? And it pays 35% on the year? Dang. So, like, Luna does that. XPRT does that. Like these coins that keep dropping you stuff. That's awesome. What's Luna doing? How low is it right now? Six bucks? This thing still hasn't recovered from its epic drop. This is probably one of the biggest drops. Well, not the biggest, but you all know what I mean. For a large coin, this is pretty substantial. Thing dropped down in a half. We don't have see likes any rounding coming up on here, like on the volume yet, but I think it's coming. I mean, shh. Shoot, like it it reached up to twenty bucks. Circulating supply four hundred and seventeen million. Total supply is almost one billion. Dang, that means to be in the one million club. I could probably I should be able to do this in my head, but you know, I can't. I can't. That's a hundred million, right? No, no. No, Jane. <sighs> is it a hundred? Oh, it's a hundred million. Oh, not hundred million. Let's just do that. Nice round number. You just need 900. I guess that's kind of a lot right now. Yeah, it's kind of a lot right now. <laughs> Times 6.4. That's like 5.7K. That's out of the realm of some people's reach, but not everybody's. So do you guys want to get yield off of things that not rely always on, I guess you would say, the capital gains of the asset interesting interesting these are tokenized stock platforms inj cosmos snx and eth mir is luna inj is cosmos yeah i mean there's basically the same thing just on different platforms you know what i'm saying so like 
Who's going to get more traction? I guess it really depends on the traction of the overall protocol that it's built on. But I would say, I would say Cosmos is interoperable. So in theory, it probably could absorb more of the, I guess, capital should it flow in there. It has the ability to do so. So, hey, that's what I think. Hey, bro, what's up? You like my skis? What is that over there? What is this? You guys put that there? Pranks. You jokesters. 22 people, what's up? How about RSR? Pfft, I know. What is happening with RSR? It was such a killer in 2020. It went up like five times for me in 2020. And then it just kind of like, you know, rounded out. Let's just check it out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It looks like the Goliath in Magic Mountain. Look, rising up. You know, you, you know how it goes all slow? Real coaster goes all slow. You're like, oh, here we go. And then I lost my lunch. <laughs> RSR is uh, wet in the bed right now. But, hey, it revisited its point back in December 2020. So if you guys missed RSR now, might be an interesting time to pick it up. Not financial advice. Reserve Rice is a dual token stablecoin platform that launched in May of 2019 following a successful initial exchange offering, or IEO, on the Huobi Prime platform. Basically, it has like RSV and RSR. RSV is a stable coin. RSR is like the other coin that keeps it balanced, right? So basically, when one goes down, then like... I haven't explained this in a long time, so I'm messing up. I guess I should read it. Which is backed by a basket of assets managed by the smart contracts. The second token is a reserved rights RSR, which is used to keep the RSV stable coin at its one price target through uh through a system of arbitrage opportunities. Yeah, so if you own RSR and RSV like deviates, you can sell RSR to get more RSV. And you can keep doing it back and forth. That's why people buy up RSR. So that cuz like it's the platform has to be maintained by the holders of RSR. So it will reward the people who keep that balance in check. That's like the whole thing about it. Um I know it has ties to Peter Thiel, right? PayPal? I think so. I think so. And it's being used in Venezuela. At least the last time I checked, they were using RSR. They're using a couple other ones too. Like our, Venezuela just kind of like abandoned that whole, like, they don't care about crypto at all like that. They, like, oh, crypto, yeah, it's better than our dollar. Bring it over. Like, it's better than the boulevard. Come on, come on. The whole world's like, oh, there's a crypto, uh, sketchy, uh, Bitcoin, bad, energy, uh. And then Venezuela's like, bro, like, I need money. Give it to me. <laughs> First world problems, huh? Dumb. 23 people, what's up? Be humble. $10? My man. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Never ask for your money. Don't mean I don't appreciate it. The, trend, the transition to tokenized use cases is exciting. I think Humble will lead their industry. Someone's gotta. Someone will. Someone will. You know? Like, um, who else has tokenized real estate? Tezos has a lot of tokenized real estate, too. You just hear about all these, these companies doing it here and there and here and there. It's not a big thing until it will be. Because at a certain point in time, guys, like, look at the real estate market. Like, the houses be going up, making crypto moves and stuff. At a certain point, people won't be able to single-handedly buy a house anymore. Sad to say. Sad to say. That's the reality. You guys know about BlackRock? You know BlackRock? Big financial institution. Was it a hedge fund? I think it's a hedge fund. Buying up every single house. I told you guys this in Southern California. I've been looking around at houses and stuff, and... These things are on the market for five days. What retail investor is buying up every house in five days? $50,000 over the asking price for every house. That's no uh, real, real retail buyer that I know of. That sounds like an institutional buyer. Just like the bank spot up houses of people that got foreclosed on in 2018. Guess what's happening now? Version 2. It's sad, guys. 
ING definitely appears to already have a much bigger ecosystem than both SNX and Mir, and they just announced 10K transactions per second. I don't see any advantage they have over INJ. On the contrary, actually. Really? Because I think SNX, like, it's the most well-known, but that's just because ETH, right? Like, that's just because ETH gets all the pub. But INJ, hey, like, when you think about it, if that's on Cosmos. I don't even know if it's on Cosmos. I just be hearing all these protocols and not really understanding sometimes, like, which platform they're on. But if they're on Cosmos, yeah. If you think about it, interoperable, natively interoperable protocols should be getting the lion's share of the liquidity, right? Like, because the other ones can't get it, they're not interoperable. This one is. Therefore, it can flood over from all over the place. Injective. Sounds hot, man. Sounds hot. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Delicioso. Damn, that's tight, bro. Oh, you like that? You saw it? I don't know, like, what you guys saw on the stream or not, because my quality be sucking. I swear it's the skis. This had never happened to me until I had the skis. Cursed. Suck graphics. Mm. Damn. Oh, sick graphics. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> that went from bad to good real quick. Where's the merch? I also try to get into mining Zcash. Kind of expensive compared to Helium Network I found. Oh, where's the merchant? Merchant? Are you talking about two different things? Or did you just mess up spelling that? I don't know. Where's the merch? Dog, dog. So that, that one thing I showed you, right? Like that logo, that's a design for a shirt. I got about five or something. I got a whole line coming out, man. Whole line. But I need my seller's permit. I don't want to get in trouble with the, the what do you call it? The overlord of California. They be coming to me like, Dub Digital. Dub Digital. You're going to jail, Dub Digital. Why? Sales tax. Oh. Know what I'm saying? It's coming. It's coming. I make a movement. You guys just don't see it. It'll be here before you know it. But yeah, I mean, you know, with, with mining, things are profitable. They're not profitable. It just the, like usually, really, it's cheaper than, wait, it's kind of expensive compared to the Helium Network. Well, yeah, Helium Network, that's supposed to be just like nothing, right? Low power, low energy, energy consumption. What's it called? Like, proof of area right hey helium miners are cool i just don't know if i want to pick one up right now i'll pick one up in the bear market i mean if i'm gonna be trying to spend three years you know bide my time for three years i might as well mine something you know people will probably set up networks like i bet you helium network builds out a lot in the bear market right just trying to weaponize time and people are gonna have crypto gains they're probably gonna buy up a whole bunch of helium miners and just like do that and I think you get paid more when you mine or have a healing miner in an area where there's a lot more. Correct? I don't know. I just checked it out. And like when I looked into it when it was really hot and like you couldn't get one until the end of the year. What the hell am I going to do with that? You know, so like I might as well just order it later. Everyone's all depressed. They won't want it. People want things when it, you know what I mean? People just like <laughs> the bear market comes, guys. People just give up. And it's like, oh, you guys don't want this shit. I'm. Picking up shit. That was me stealing cryptos. You didn't know. 24 people, what's up? You see the news out of UK about Craig Wright court ruling? No, I didn't. Craig Wright's still in the... <laughs> Craig Wright's still doing that shit, man. Craig. 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 Come on. Come on, man. How many... How many, how many... How has he not gone like insolvent from like court fees? Well, I guess he's Satoshi. I guess that's proof he's Satoshi. <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. What happened? RSR? Yeah, I just looked at RSR come back. I'll timestamp. Hello, my brother. What's up? You guys know what this is? Or am, or am I old? I'm old. Yeah, I know. I know. 26 people. What's up? The OGs of NFT is ENJ plus mana. Hmm. Hmm. ENJ. You know what? 
You're right. They were. They were like some of the first ones to talk about it. But gaming NFTs, but NFTs nonetheless. Engine, a dollar nineteen. This thing ran up to freaking three dollars and thirty cents. Wow, that was on the back of like the Japanese like news that I guess they sanctioned. I I I didn't really read the article. I'm not gonna lie, but like they did something about like sanctioning ENJ. It's kind of wild because it's a gaming coin. But hey, that thing's down three times, guys. There's a billion supply, right? Um, this is like one of the most blue chip gaming coins you're ever going to find than mana. This is like one of the most blue chip virtual worlds you're ever going to find at 60 cents, 50 cents. I remember seeing this thing at 14 cents. Yeah, 14 cents. And it was on Coinbase and this big old run up happened. But you know, guys, like virtual worlds, virtual like reality, augmented reality, all this stuff's going to intertwine, come together, and just try to think of the way the world's moving, right? We all had this lockdown. All of us went through it. Kids couldn't go to school, all that. Now people found out that, oh, I don't need to go to my work. I don't need to go to school. I can do it all online. So anything that offers a more immersive more personalized, remote experience for working and or education, that's going to be a new frontier. It's going to be a new frontier. Imagine working in a virtual world, actually getting money out of a virtual world, beating your family from it. Something that's kind of like far-fetched, right? To very ready player one. Yeah, as graphics get better, the experience become more and more immersive. It's just going to be a no-brainer. Right? Like, doesn't Decentraland, I'm pretty sure Decentraland has a freaking, they're building a university in there where teachers from all over the world are going to teach. It's going to shake up education on its head. I like it. Omi just got Marvel. Oh, damn. For real? Because Omi got freaking wrecked. He got wrecked. That got wrecked so bad. Check it out. 22 people, what's up? This thing shot up. And now it's on the freaking floor. There's a tiny little bit of volume peeping in right here. A little pop-up. That's cool. But come on, guys. Like Everyone was eating this thing up when it first came out. Just notice the, the nature of pumps, though. Like Everyone's so emotional on the hype. They'll buy it up here. They're scared to buy it down here. Same asset. What's the problem? You know what I'm saying? Omi is a Singapore-based technology company in the digital collectible space. The company has created Vivi, a blockchain-based digital collectible marketplace for users to buy and share collectibles across the social network service. Can you imagine Marvel? Like, NBA Top Shots was killing it. I wonder, like, well, hold on. I guess I should go to their, their website. I wonder what's going to happen with comic book stuff popping out. They're making freaking movies for every superhero out here. So, Vivi is an app-based marketplace for premium licensed digital collectibles. With Vivi, users can obtain common, rare, and one-of-a-kind digital collectibles, customize and showcase them in virtual showrooms, as well as buy, sell, or trade collectibles with each other. Vivi users from all from the palm of your hand. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't read sometimes. Stream quality better? I like to be on point, guys. Sometimes, you know, I'm I'm, I'm constrained technically. I got to get another computer. It, it's breathing hard a lot. I know, I know. I just don't want to sell any crypto right now. I'm sure you understand. Come on. But secure wallet. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, secure. It's secure. That's cool. White paper, get on me. Blah, 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 blah. But that's interesting, guys. I'm kind of like turning, like turning my eye to NFTs now. I am. Good ones, though. Good ones, though. Because we saw NBA Top Shots. I, I, I just talked to Crypto Rain today or yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And Crypto Rain, you made a killing with NBA Top Shots, man. Shoot. So, like, you know, I picked up that LaMelo Ball. Marvel's something that interests me. Um, I think Theta. I heard rumblings of Theta having Pokemon. I love me some Pokemon. I got Pokemon cards. Right now, I love Pokemon, man. 
you know, Pokemon might be like the hottest, most hyped, most hyped NFT collection to drop. But like, I think I've seen evidence of data having that. Just FYI. Logan Paul be talking about Pokemon. He went into the Mayweather fight with the Charizard around his neck. Cost three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Guys, know that? That's weird. I remember Charizards are like fifty bucks. <laughs> I also remember when video games were twenty bucks, and then they went to sixty, and I was like, "What the?" And then I learned about inflation, and then I bought Bitcoin. They tokenized an apartment in down downtown San Diego Gaslight District. I could go see it. Is that on their website? That's sick. That's sick. I can go see that shit. I can go tipsy and go, let me in your apartment. <laughs> Not funny. Okay, 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 okay. My bad, my bad. 19 people. Damn. Where's everyone at? Where they at? They scared? They scared? They're probably scared. Uma is one of the most underrated protocols. Most people don't even seem to know it is a decentralized oracle with its own data verification mechanism, DVM. Crispy, Crispy saying, like, you guys ain't up on this. Let's see it. Uma. The Uma Project, $9.72. Mm. Hey. Hey. What's the supply? Total supply, $103 billion? <laughs> That ain't that much. That's not bad. That's not bad. It costs what? You know, I like to be a little nerd. Let's see it. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. 103 times 9.71. A thousand bucks, man. You could be in the 1 million club on Uma, right? You can get yield on Uma. Let's see. This is a this is a good coin. I mean, it's on Coinbase, right? I'm pretty sure. We want enables DeFi developers to build synthetic assets. A fast, flexible, secure, and secure way to create synthetic assets on Ethereum. No limits on design. Minimize Oracle usage. Increase security and reduce costs with minimal on-chain transactions. That's what you're talking about, right? Provably secure economic guarantees. Ensure your contract cannot be manipulated. That's a big deal. It's quick. 11 projects. Building synthetic assets on there. Ren is working with them. They got partners. Pretty sure they got partners. Mm. Call put options, range tokens. So guys, you're starting to see these like all-in-one DeFi like solutions and stuff. And now it's even incorporating its own damn Oracle. So that's pretty interesting. What was it at before? What was at the at the peak of it? Thirty-one bucks. Hey, it's not bad. Look how, how hard this thing moved, too. Not a lot of volume. It's kind of spotty. But like you said, it's probably fl flying under the radar. I mean, you can see in the volume right here. So interesting, interesting. Thanks. 21 people, what's up? I've been doing this an hour eight already? Wow. Time flies, man. The concept is simple. Anyone can push an answer on chain, and there will be a dispute if it's wrong. Hmm. Thanks for the input. Dub my man. Yeah. What's up? How you been? Stream was sucking. Zeke. $5. Thank you for supporting the channel. Appreciate it. Check out Tiki Token. You make BNB the sec you invest. Really? Tell me which crypto you start collecting the sec you put your money in it. You sleep and make money. Hmm. Tiki. Sounds like a luau. Let's see it. One cent. Damn. What the hell? Oh, this is real new. This is real new. This is new as hell. This is that new new. Interesting. Let's see. Tiki's next evolution of yield generating contract on Binance Smart Chain. You get rewarded in BNB instead of tokens. Classic redistribution is con the concept that was popularized by SafeMoon. The mechanism incentivizes tokens to hold in order to earn dividends from the transaction buys and sells. Redistribution is based on percentage in the contract, current token ba balance, and number of, to of holders. You receive more tokens automatically. Huh. Okay, I got to see this. 
Hall Tiki, Airbnb. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Are we cursed? Is that the curse of the Tiki? I don't know. The biggest BNB reflection token and the only one with auto claim feature. Simply hold Tiki tokens on your wallet and you'll earn BNB. Wow. BC, BSC scan, coin market cap, coin gecko, big vision, great. 10% redistribution of BNB. 10% of every buy and sell is taken and redistributed to all Tiki holders. Hold Tiki tokens, earn BNB. Minimum 10,000 tokens. Okay. What is that? So you have to have 10,000 tokens to do that? Times what? 1.3, I think? No, 0, 1.3. 130 bucks right now. Interesting. Dang. Well, hey, people are people are buying this in waves, so this is very like this is a <laughs> this is a pattern. Someone's buying this shit, right? Someone knows some. That's interesting. I mean, it's really new, guys, and it's on Binance and it's on Pancake Swap. So, you know, do your due diligence. But that's that sounds interesting and it's super new. I mean, hey, things on the floor. If you have uh, more capital, maybe that's an interesting one to look at. Uh, twenty dot twenty people on the chat. What's up? Thoughts on the graph? Hmm. The graph. So it's like querying, right? Querying large data sets. You can see. That's useful, right? I mean, the problem with blockchain is like it's huge sets of data that are hard to navigate and stuff. So anything that improves the query speed time ultimately improves the protocol. So let's check it out. The graph ran up to damn near $3 almost. $2.50. Now it's sitting at Six to set. So, yeah. Kind of a resistance support flip on this point right here. If you drew a line, that'd be pretty pretty right on the money there. So, yeah, I'd look for a rounding. We see no volume here, but it's rounding, right? So it's telling me that the small amount of buyers in here are kind of buying it up. So I think the graph's a good project. I think it's useful. I think it serves a use case, right? That's my thought on the graph. I don't have any right now, though. Hmm. Be humble. Thank you for the five bucks, man. Appreciate it. My bad. I suck at spelling, and spell check tears my sentences apart. Whenever you get a chance, check out Humble's Twitter. They are tokenizing much more. Hmm. I got it. I got it. Be humble. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Hey, what's your handle? Is it humble? Which one are they? Yeah, what's your handle, man? I'll look at it. Just, just leave it in the oh, humble pay. Yeah, there it is. So, guys, if you don't know, humble pay is uh, linked up with Digibyte. Um. Yeah, that's that's been the the main news on DGB for a while, or not the main news, but you know, what I mean, it's been a big deal, right? So, they're they're big, they're big. Uh, see me in Nashville. I ain't going to Nashville. Humble Hospitality Group is pleased to announce that it has closed on its first portfolio rental property unit, Hard Rock SD. Whoa, that's sick. Look at it. I think I've been here. My dog is going insane. Dang, baseball. Swing, bada, bada, bada. Uh, is that Polly D? <laughs> That's Polly D. That's crazy. Spinning it. I like it. What else they got? Over 70% of millennials purport wanting to stay in non-traditional rentals versus big box hotels. Humble Hospitality Group will be working to fill this void while giving property shareholders financial participation in their travels. The unit will be available to Humble 28 days per year for corporate guests and etc. Whatever. And will be rented out to the remainder of the year by Rock Royalty as an income-producing property. 
Wow. They got Poly D up in there, man. What you guys know about Poly D? Look at that fade. Look at this fade, man. It's clean as shit. This is clean, man. Gym tan laundry. You know what I'm saying? That's sick, man. I like it. 18 people. They don't like Poly D. Yeah. Where's everyone at? Is it the skis? Tell me. Be honest with me, guys. Is it the skis? Yeah? Okay. okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay? Does anyone know of anything like DeFi Pulse that is more comprehensive? No. I don't. It's mainly DeFi Pulse, right? Well. Yeah. DeFi Pulse is what I look at, to be honest. Yo, all these oracles got to bow down to Link, though. So. Uh, mm, mm, I guess, you know. But, like, hey, just because it was the first don't mean it's got to be the only. What's your objective, right? What's your objective? You trying to, you want the big name? Or do you want the price appreciation? Because I think some of these, like Pat Global, um, name another Oracle band and stuff, I think they've been largely overlooked and suffered in price because everyone kind of has that attitude, right? So, like, yeah, yeah, Link's probably the safer bet. But in terms of highest performer, I don't know. I think something on the floor that succeeds could maybe be a higher beater. But if you want, if you don't want to be guessing, if you want like the, the tried and true big name, yeah, Link's gonna probably be the safest, safest gainer. If you know, but safe doesn't always mean bigger, percentage wise. You know what I'm saying? Ada to the moon. Hmm. Ada, how's it doing? Let's see it. One dollar thirty-seven cents. It's up eighty point eight point eighty percent. Damn. ADA is it's holding up pretty nice, man. It's holding up pretty nice. It's acting like it wants to go higher. It's acting like it wants to fly. It's not even getting any freaking volume here. People buying the dip. <laughs> Everything else tanked down to death, and ADA's been doing this. Mm. It's nasty. What's what's going on? I haven't looked into it for a while in terms of like its updates and stuff. Is it finally gonna get smart contracts though? Come on, be real. What's it getting smart contracts? ADA's gotta have smart contracts. Gotta. Hey, Helium has proof of coverage. That's what it's called. My bad. I study the protocol in depth. Have a business. Have a business waiting. My soul was crushed finding out I have to wait until November for the miners. G5 miner is where it's at. How much are they going for now? Check it out. Because guys like, you know me. You know me. I always got to put 13 people down. They're dropping like flies out here. But um, you guys know me though. Like, I'm all about rotating the profits, right? Because one day crypto bull run is going to end. And it's going to be flat. You know, how are you going to make money? Right? Helium sounds cool. Just got to set it up. Run it off of the uh, electricity in your house. Low cost. You're getting a steady income that way. Um, I actually like Power Ledger. But that takes some infrastructure. But reselling back clean energy out of solar and wind and all that. I like that. I want to be the power company. You know, but I'm thinking of different things. Filecoin, buy a warehouse or something or whatever. Set up a bunch of, um, what do you call it? Like storage, like computing storage and all that. You could also sell computing power through um, iExec RLC. How can you make a cash flow business that pays in crypto so you ain't got to buy all your crypto? You know what I'm saying? That's what I like. But check it out. 17 people, what's up? People powered networks. Start a wireless revolution powered by the Helium blockchain. The People's Network represents a paradigm shift for decentralized wireless infrastructure. Uh, she's going there and he's going here. There's a dog over here. It's a package right here. 
This thing's gonna track my dog? Good. That fool be running all over the place. Let's see, Coindesk, Fast Company, Forbes, Time, Decrypt, Fortune, all talking about it. Total hotspots, 73,212. Data credits, I don't know what that means. Circulating HNT supply, about 92 million. Hmm. Few network map. Sure, why not? That's interesting. 16 people is good. We're just looking at helium real quick. Helium minor map and stuff. Bear with me. Wow. Wow, for real? There's something in the freaking ocean? The penguins got them, man. Damn, look at this. Cali's lit up. You got to get some in Nevada, though. There's like one. How's there one in Nevada? I thought that, dude, I would think like the um, casinos would be all up in that stuff, you know? Europe is freaking caked full of it. Asia's getting it. Japan's got a couple. I don't even know who who's over here. Is that, how, is that Hawaii? The polar bears got some, y'all. Mm, that's crazy. That's interesting. 18 people, what's up? Does anyone know anything like... Okay, we talked about that. My bad, my bad. It's called Optimistic Oracle. Hmm. Oh, you're talking about Uma? That's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. It's an all-in-one, man. Zeke, there's a bunch of staking coins you get paid while you sleep. Adam, Algo, FTM, Luna, many more. Yeah, so a strategy of that, guys, is... That I'm gonna be looking for those in the bear. I want I want yield. I want to be a Tezos miner. I want these coins that pay me yield. Persistence, Adam, Algo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Helium miner. I'm gonna be all spread out, man. Like, because the only people who don't invest in crypto in the bear market is people who don't believe in crypto's coming back. But just just know that. Every single cycle, people think crypto is not coming back. And every single cycle, it's coming back. At a certain point in time, it's like, when when are you going to believe in the pattern? But that's not financial advice. I don't think I got to tell you guys. I'm preaching to choir. Hold up. I asked Chainlink what they thought about Uma's Oracle approach, and they blocked me. That's what they did to you, man. L M A O. Despite a large body of existing research into Oracle system design, current Oracle solutions are missing one key feature, an economic guarantee around the cost of corrupting the Oracle. Guarantee, though, you know. It's hard to guarantee. Like, what do you mean? Wait, I'm not, I'm confused now. I don't know. Have you ever tried the Orkut VPN and network security tool? I searched for it on my App Store iPhone. There it was. I I personally have not actually tried the VPN. I'll be straight up. I need to. I mean, I got the freaking Orkut, right? But yeah, how, how does it work? Right? You pay Orkut? Tell me how. I'm trying all these like other services. I haven't got around to it, but hey, I'm... I should, I know, I know. I know, I should have a decentralized VPN. I should also have a decentralized password manager. I've been trying to start up AntimID for the longest time. I've been, I've been lacking. But like, I was thinking about doing like a playlist where I just like do tutorials and all that stuff. Right? Like decentralize my life. Right? Is that something you guys would be into? I don't know. It takes time. I got to know if you guys like that. I'm feeling like the VGX token swap is about to set things off. Jake C. Jake C. Trying to put us on game, Jake C. What is it called? VGX? Voyager. Mm. Well, it was doing big things before this whole thing, right? Damn. That's crazy, dude. This thing ran up like a mother. Look at this. You know what this reminds me of, though? This? Look at this little little dip right here. This D, cursive D. Very 
exponential, then ran up. Reminds me of this back in 2017. If you can see that LLD right here, ran up, corrected. This, <laughs> this looks like this. And what comes after that? Bang. Dang, that's what I'm saying, guys. Like, I'm seeing fractals all over the place. I know how it feels. I know how it feels, but I'm seeing fractals all over the place. And you know what typically happens at the last half of the bull run? Well, some of you probably don't. Huh. Big things happen at the last half of the bull run. But Dub Digital, this time different. This time, okay, maybe. But for the last 10 years, it hasn't been. So <laughs> I'm doubling down. I got nothing to lose. Actually, I got everything to lose. I'm just that kind of guy. Boomer's Oracle System guarantees the economic security of a smart contract and Oracle Systems in the fully decentralized and permissionless blockchain setting. Chris, you like you like Uma a lot, huh? Yeah, you're right. People have been sleeping on it, to be honest. Like, I don't hear much anyone talking about it. Do you think anime series based on DLT and crypto investing would be popular? Like, in what way? Like, to be honest, man, like, I don't know if, like, you're talking about making an anime series about crypto would be popular. I'm, I don't really think that. But I think doing like NFT based anime releases would be popular. Like manga. Like manga, man. Manga's huge, bro. Manga is huge. There's a cult following for manga. And if you had NFT drops of manga, like actual digital comic books, I got ideas for NFTs, man. I think that would be a big deal. Big deal. Because like think of the clientele who buys manga. They're all they're already all up in this. They would love that. Eat it up. I don't know why more people aren't doing like NFT projects. It's it's largely to like a lot of these celebrities who are doing cash grabs and stuff. Rarely have I seen good NFT projects by like with utility and stuff. But with manga, like you know, just like comic books, comic books have a history of investment, right? 19, like whatever, the old comic books. Those are graded just like collectible cards, like Baseball rookie card, Babe Ruth cards and stuff. There's really old comic books that are expensive like that. So it just seems to fit, like a natural fit, right? No? What do you think? What do you think? 20 people, what's up? Charles Hoskins seem to be tripping on Twitter daily. Laws. <laughs> Last stream we talked about who went in a fight. Charles Hoskinson or Dan Larimer? Danny Boy. Fighting out of the red corner, all the way from EOS land. Dan Larimore. What do you guys think? I think Charles would get him. I think Dan will put up a good fight. But then I think Charles, you know, he'll bring it up in the, like probably the ninth round. Pick it up. Pick it up. Put that pressure on him. Start stalking him around the ring. Mm. Charles got that beard, man. He got that beard strength. Dan be hitting him. Bouncing off his beard, he won't feel it. Shoot, yer, what's up, Staten? Yo, what's good? Nineteen people, what's up? Do you mean become a power company? What project is that? That's dope. Yeah, Power Ledger, then Energy Web. Those are the two I know of. There's probably more. Actually, there is another one. I just found out about them today. I'm talking to someone on that team right now. What is it? Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Morpheus Labs. Actually, you know what? Let me go into the other ones first, and then we're going to come back to this. Um, Power Ledger. So guys, again, like, you can start a business in crypto. Get paid in crypto now. Decentralized power. I think that's going to be a big thing. It's just going to take a while to take off because it requires so much infrastructure expensive infrastructure but hey um don't utility companies get paid a lot of money i think some people in texas they had like ten thousand dollar power bills i want to be a power company let's see power ledger 17 cents this thing fell down to death reached almost 60 60 cents now it's as low as it was in damn near 2020 right after the freaking crash 
March 2020. This thing is low as hell right now. You know? Total supply, almost one billion. Um, I did a I, actually this is one of my earlier videos, earliest videos to be honest. <laughs> Super early, like when I was getting like I had 26 subs. The power behind new energy. Power Ledger is the operating system of new energy markets, enabling tracking and trading of energy. Flexibilities, flexibility services and environmental commodities. They changed up their whole thing. Huh. Clean energy that works for everyone on the planet. You have developed an energy and flexibility trading platform that allows households and organizations and the grid itself to trade with each other. We offer technology that supports a responsive market because the grid is only as good as the market behind it. Um, clients. They have already partners too. 28 clients in eight countries. Alaska, United States, Europe. Is that India? Japan, Australia. It's probably like Singapore or something. Southeast Asia. East Asia. Yeah, Australia, Thailand. There it is, Thailand. Hey, more Australia. We got France, India, Japan, United States. See, they're building. They're building and they're quiet because they're not ready yet. They got to expand more, but this stuff is happening. You guys see all these grid failures and stuff, right? You think that's going to stop? It ain't going to stop. In California, we got a building, home for new, uh, building code for new um, homes and stuff. That every new construction has to have solar. That tells me the government, the government made that rule, right? That's telling me that they know they can't keep up with the power demands, especially for an ever-growing population. The future is decentralized power. I guarantee that. What else? What else? We have Energy Web. This was like tied to Elon and stuff, but I think that may or may not be helping them at this, at this point. Energy Web token, this thing is. Damn near towards the lows of May 2020. And that was towards the crash. This thing got a lot of hype because they're working with Tesla. But now it might be hurting them. By the end of the day, I mean, this thing has a total supply, max supply of 100 million. It's a similar thing, right? So we'll pull it up just because I pull up the other one. We got to be fair. We got to be fair, guys. Come on. I'm glad my stream quality is being better. You know, it was looking nasty. Any energy customer. NG Web is accelerating a low-carbon, customer-centric electricity system by enabling energy asset owned by any customer to participate in any energy market. To do so, we've developed and deployed an open-source decentralized technologies, the Energy Web Decentralized Operating System, EWDOS, with our global community. Okay, whatever. This is okay. Uh, the world's the trusted by the world's most influential. God damn. Okay. Trusted by the world's most influential energy companies, Exelon, Duke Energy, Zondafon. Okay, act like I know what those are. Energy, same thing. And then the next one, though, I found about this today, guys. I haven't vetted it yet, but it sounded good. It sounded good. I'll tell you what. Morpheus Labs, MITX. This thing came out in 2018 and the bear market fell down to death. It rose up like this, man. 17 cents. Now it's sitting at damn near 4 cents. Circulating supply. I mean, the supply is kind of, you know, 720 million or so. But check this out. Check it out. Interesting. Singapore based project. Singapore loves those digital assets. It's loaded. It's loaded. Power blockchain worldwide, powering blockchains globally. Use cases. 16 people, what's up? These are real ones, man. Dang. Website looks slow as hell. Build and develop and implement innovative solutions. Energy trading platform. The energy markets involve complex procedures that require third party intermediaries and brokers, trading agents, exchanges, price reporters, logistic providers, banks, and regulators. Procedures involve manual post-processing and intense communication. So basically, it facilitates like the communication between energy trading. It's not inner trading itself, but it's pretty cool, man. Like there was, where was it? Partner Central. This is what caught my eye. I haven't dug into it any past this, but you'll see why. You'll see why this is an interesting project. That brought to my attention today. Partner Central. 
for Singapore companies. If you're looking to build digital uh, digital upgrade or expand your business, you can now apply for EDG or MRA grants initiated by the Republic of Singapore government. Hmm. Blockchain partners, Ochain, Chainlink. Um, I don't know these two. Uh, one, right? One, yeah. Nulls, Neo, Nem, Cardia Chain, Quark Chain, which was named in the Chinese blockchain system, Ren, Steam it, Tomo Chain, Vietnam Project. I forgot what this is, but I know that. V Chain, Wan Chain, Waves, Strategic Partners, Amazon Cloud Services, Cloud Hub, Huawei. Those are fired just in the first four. Red Block, R3 Corda, Neuro, Neuro Chain. I don't know what that is. And these other ones. Hey, oh, Huawei, Amazon Cloud Services. God dang. It's crazy. So I got to look more into this, but I just want to bring this to your attention first. I haven't vetted it at all, but I saw those pro those, those um, strategic partners and blockchain partners, and that's some it's big. It's real big. So FYI, I might be doing a video on that. Oh, shoot. It's Dad Master. What's up, man? Shopping with the wife. I'll have to catch the replay. Happy wife, happy life. Is that true, Dad Master? Is it true? Nah, that's not humble. In my epicenter. I'm in the epicenter, LOL. We're in Sin City. I wasn't supposed to be on the EOS ICO either. We are bandits, not sissies, LOL. What? <laughs> Voyager is super early. CEO from E-Trade, CTO from Uber. Those cats are making power moves. Power moves. Eh. I've been trying to make some power moves. I've been trying to lift again. Start skiing. My shit. His keys, I didn't know they messed up my internet. But yeah, that's tight, man. I didn't even know that. CTO from Uber. Dang. That's sick. I'm trying to place a couple in Nevada. Here one for the here one for the pack. On Star has a partnership. If you can get a car that uses a star, Earnhardt. I don't even understand what the hell that was. As a hotspot host, you're gonna transmit a lot of data. OnStar? What? Hey, man. I'm not. <laughs> Why am I not understanding what you just said right now? OnStar is a partnership. If you can get a car that uses OnStar. Really? You can mine? Are you talking about helium miners? What is happening in the world today? <laughs> what was that one blockchain where you like, you can put like, it was like a GPS map where you put them in cars and planes and stuff. And as it goes across, like around the world, it's like mapping shit. What was that? I was like 2020. I didn't, I never did it. I saw so many projects I didn't do. It was, it's crazy. Interesting. Car lot. Danny boy got the hook. Hey, you think so? Hey, he got that Falcon punch, huh? Falcon punch. Yeah, he might have thunder in the right hand. But Charles, he looks like a bruiser, man. Charles be bruising it. He's on his live stream. He's ruthless. But Dan, yeah, Dan's like one of those quiet ones, man. He might just like flip the switch. Come out. All quiet and stuff. Yeah, he might go psycho on him. Plus, you got the late bloomer in the corner. Shoot, we got the late Blummer in the corner. Tag team. Hey, 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 hey. This ain't WWE, man. No chairs and shit. This is a good old gentleman's fight. Dan Larimer is 6'3". Oh, he got the reach? He got the reach. But then, like, you know, Hoskins will be in that peekaboo style. like Mike Tyson, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, if he could keep the distance, then he could pick him apart. Close that eye up. Can't see very well. Dub, you got merch? Yeah, I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I just showed um one of the designs, though. 
show one of the designs. It's hot. Hold up, I'm gonna show you another one. Let's show no, no, that's gonna steal my thunder. I can't be showing it. I'm waiting for my freaking seller's permit. You ever try to rush the government? They go slower. <laughs> California. Dang. I'm all up in the red. I haven't even sold shit yet. That's crazy. Alien resident alien invasion. The resident alien invasion is laughing at shit. Charles looks 6'3, but really th 33. Ha ha ha. Oh, Charles looks 63, but really 33. He's an old soul, man. He's an old soul. You know. We gotta we gotta respect our elders, man. Morpheus used to be like Napster Kazaa back in the day. Fire. Mm. Napster, you guys remember Napster? I do. I pretty much ruined a couple computers using Napster. <laughs> My dad was like, what the hell? What's wrong with the computer? I'm like, I don't, I don't know, man. You download something? Nah, no. Nah. I don't even know what downloading is. <laughs> I just wanted the 50 cent CD, bro. Like, damn, I have a job. Eighth grader or seventh grader? I ain't got no job, man. What the hell? I ain't got no freaking allowance either. They said, take out the trash. I said, what I get? They said, you get food. I said, okay, okay, okay. You're right, you're right. LOL, I mess with anime, though. Mean bug. Anime's tight, man. I like Naruto. I love anime. I grew up on anime. I like Naruto. I like um, DBZ, Dragon Ball. Attack on Titan's cool. Um, I never really got into Death, Death Note. Is that nerdy? I don't care. Power Ledger been around. And idea is Fuego. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It is, it is Fuego. It's hot. Let me talk, guys. Let me talk. But, like, it's going to be slow. It's going to be slow because it takes so much infrastructure. They got to build all, like, they got to build shit. They got people who have to invest probably a lot of money to build the solar farms and then implement their technology on it. Then you got to get, then you got to get, like, residents, like, residents and, like, commercial buildings to get on board with it. And then you got to work through the regulatory system to get it like implemented, okayed with them and make them feel comfortable. Like it's going to take time. But once it gets going, I mean, there's nothing much more necessary for modern life than energy. <laughs> you know how they say if you want to be like rich, I don't know, what is it? If you want to be really rich, be a bank. If you want to be really, really rich, be a comp power company that sells power to the bank. I want to be upstream, baby. You hear, Dub? Bullish Global releasing in July. Target Fire 100. Is that block? Package. Wow. I didn't hear that. In July? Holy smokes. See, I've been, I've been looking at EOS on the floor. I said, I'm going to buy it. I bought it. And I said, I don't know how it's going to get up there, but it's got to go. It's got to go. Looks like that's the way it's going to go. You guys think it's going to be like a utility token, though, like BNB? I was talking about that with um, with Chris, you know, on my interview. Like, um, I was like, hey, what do you think is going to happen? He's like, I don't know. But, like, I'm of the opinion that it's going to have some functionality within Bullish Global. EOS, right? It runs on EOS. I know they hashed the transactions there, but, like, Come on, man. Throw us a bone. Use it for like transaction fee or something. Maybe not like that, like maybe not make people use it for transaction fee, but reduce the, the fees if you use it. Just like BNB does. Like, that's a good model. Hey. 22 people, what's up? What do you think about Colin talks crypto sell off strategy. Sell 20% at 5x, sell 20% at 10x, sell 20% at 30x at peak bull run. Um so what I think about that sounds good, but the problem is everyone got in at different times. So 5x, 10x, 20x, 30x, that's different for different people. Some people bought higher than the others, and hey. Top might be 5x for them. So it's not really like a whole rule of thumb in my perspective. Like it only probably works for his portfolio because he probably bought at the bottom. Right? So like you guys, it's all relative. It's hard to give like an all sells, like a selling uh, strategy for everybody. 
it's, it's better if you do it time-based because we're all running on the same calendar. We're not all playing with the same cost basis. I could have bought down here. Someone could have bought lower than me. Someone could have bought higher than me. Would I tell them to wait for a 5X or 30X if they bought higher than me? That's not really the same thing now, is it? You know, so that's that's the problem. It doesn't take into account the variability of cost basis from investor to investor. That's just my take. Um, I think it, you know, some people say we're in lengthening cycles. I mean, that would be great. That would be awesome. I would always like more time to make money. But I think it's prudent, like, you know, what? How long is it lengthening? No one ever talks about that. How long is it lengthening? Is it a month? Is it a quarter? Is it a year? No one really specifies. So, like, I like to be prudent and, like, start phasing out by percentage as as we get closer to the end of the year. Start doing it in, like, October. But, hey, like, some cycles have ended in October. Some have ended in December. Some have ended in January. It, you know? So, like, you can hope for lengthening cycles, and you can hold some crypto into that. Just be okay with it dropping down and not selling it. But I think to be prudent and to exit with some life-changing gains, it's convenient to go off of the four-year cycle because it's, like, it's, it's the most applicable to everyone. That's what I got to say about it. 25 people, what's up? I like it because I got a wreck last run. LOL. More to crypto gambling. But ready this time around. Shook the shit. Shook that shit. Pause. Pause. Yeah, just, just be careful, guys. Like, your 5X might be different than Colin's 5X. You know? Dab in the house. Now it's a party. Nah, Dab's shopping with his wife right now. Dab's, Dab's taking care of business. Happy night, happy wife. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Don't be stabbing your wife, man. Don't be stabbing your wife. When's Larimer, when Larimer wins, they will say it was a scam. LMFAO. They'll say it's rigged. I want to see Larimer, Jake Paul. I want to see Larimer, Jake Paul. I think Larimer got his number, man. I want to... What do you guys think? Larry Magic Paul? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got the power of EOS. He'll channel the power of EOS. And, and put it all of it into one punch. And blow a hole through Jake's head. Dub, we need that grimy squirrel from your wife's garden on a shirt. Grubbing dude's bags paws. <laughs> Screw that squirrel, man. LOL, it's Twilight Zone right now. The pen man. Helium is a partnership with OnStar. The more data your hotspot hears. What? They be listening to me, man? And transmit data, you mine more helium. A lot of cars, a lot of cars, lots beacon, 915 hertz. I don't like that. I don't like electronics listening to me, man. That's why I don't got an Alexa. I don't do it. I don't do it. That's scary, man. That's scary. Give me chills. Just stopping in to say hi. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I made that part up. Just stopping in to say I think you are a star. Hey, man. I appreciate that. Keep going. You give mad value to all who watch. Thank you, brother. Great job. Hey, crypto karaoke. I, I, I like that, man. You sing karaoke? Huh? We should do a karaoke on here. Crypto karaoke, I like it. Appreciate you. Thank you. Exactly. Do you like data? Yeah. I mean, I like data. I just didn't get in it. <laughs> I saw it like it. Bro, I saw it like that stuff at 10 cents, man. <sighs> you know? And then I didn't want to chase it. And then it kept going up. And then I started kicking myself. And it kept going up. It came down now. You know, it just kind of like, I. so people who've been crypto before, we've been wrecked before. We're kind of like a little jaded and stuff. Like, you try not to buy up in the sky if you don't have to. And I don't really care. Like, I'm more of a risk mitigation point at this point. Like, 
I look at things like in 2020 was the time to be buying that for me. 2020 was the time to be buying that. I just look at it. I chalk it up to I missed it. <laughs> and it's okay, man, because I'm already in 30 projects. You know, like at a certain point, like what am I going to have, 100? But I think Theta is a quality project. They, they got a partner with Samsung, right? You could you could mine Theta on Samsung TVs. They're doing their thing with um, they're doing their thing with freaking um NFTs right now. I, you know what? I might pick some up if I can get in that Pokemon drop. I love Pokemon, but yeah, Theta is a quality project. I don't think there's any question about that. It's just like I'm I'm not I'm not I'm trying to do things differently this run, man. You know, I'm trying to be better, and I'm not trying to chase too much. Doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. It just means it's a thing I'm doing. Besides the fact you are hilarious and witty. Love it. Hey, I like that, man. At least someone thinks I'm funny. I'd be, I'd be cracking dad jokes and stuff around my wife. And she'd be like, like, babe, come on. People on the internet think I'm funny. And she's like, <laughs> tough crowd. Naruto taught a brother never to give up and grind for your dreams. No cap. Leaf Village, Hidden Leaf Village, guys. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Hidden Leaf Village. I got all those jujitsu. Uh, what do they call it? Not jujitsu. That's a freaking it's a freaking martial art. Ninjutsu, yeah. Ninjutsu. Freaking ninja stars and shit. I like that. I like that. What's your favorite? What's your favorite character? I used to like Rock Lee. Rock Lee. Fourth gate. What do you, you guys don't know what I'm talking about? Well, watch Naruto. Yo, Dub, what's your take on Rona Scan? Oh, I can't be saying that, man. I can't be saying that. That kicked me off YouTube, man. I just started building this channel pretty well. Uh, YouTube, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, YouTube. But um, what I think about it, man, um, is it over in California? No. <laughs> Bro, I be wearing a mask everywhere. You know why? Because it's just easier, man. It's just easier. I don't want to deal with it. Like, you, if you don't live in California, you don't get it. You don't get it. It's hostile, man. It's hostile. People be calling you out. It's like, bro, I don't even care like that. I just want to get in, get my goddamn groceries from Trader Joe's and leave. Trader Joe's is cool, though. They don't care that much. <laughs> but, like, I, I went to Vegas a couple weeks ago, and it was, like, such a different sentiment towards it. And it was like kind of an eye opener because you just like live in the state you live in, right? But um, hey, I don't tell people what to do. Like I don't, I don't have a strong feeling towards it. To be honest, man, I'm just trying to live my life, you know. So people can do whatever they want to do. That's good with them. How low are you waiting for Cosmos to go before you buy? I got, I picked some up on this drop. Um, will you let it ride to a bear market if you don't get your, if you don't get your bloodbath? Question mark. I sell on Mert. I sell on merch and doing great. Awesome passive moolah. That's awesome. Um, will I ride to a bear market if you don't get your bloodbath? I bought some on this dot this drop. I mean, I bought some at 20 and I bought some at 10 and 8. You know, I'm just lowering my cost basis. Um, will I hold Cosmos into the bear market? No. No, I did that before. I don't like it. It makes me feel bad inside. So only thing I'm carrying into the bear market is some Bitcoin. Why? Because the Bitcoin dominance has showed us that Bitcoin crashes and you get wrecked, but you get wrecked th less than all coins. I, I had mostly, like not all altcoins, I had a lot of all altcoins going to the last bear market and the average percentage of drop was 95%. And by the time I realized what happened, I was screwed. <laughs> So, like, again, I'm trying to do it differently. Like, I'd rather buy the bottom than have that happen again. Like, I have enough invested in crypto where it's going to be meaningful to, like, my fam and me. I'm going to lick my ice cream while it's lickable before it melts through my fingers. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people say, oh, I'm going to hold this for five years, ten years. It's like, okay, but you know these things go from through undervalued to overvalued. These people who hold it, they're just hoping for this time is different. But I keep saying, like, is it really that smart to hope for an anomaly to happen? Or why wouldn't you just follow the patterns? You know, so like, yeah, I'm going to cash out. But again, it's not like I'm going to sit in the dollar and watch it evaporate. I'm then going to move that value into other things, other investments. 
Diversification is a beautiful thing. 22 people, what's up? LOL. 30, that's nice. I love your material. Hey, appreciate you, man. When I say... When I say here, it's like how your phone hears the nearest cell phone tower. It's okay, okay, okay. My bad. <laughs> Amazon be tripping me out. I'm like, you know, whispering to my wife. She's like, why are you whispering? I'm like, shut up, shut up. They hear us, they hear us. It dis deconstructs the signal and routes the signal using the miners and internet. Napster, homie, is a co founder. Mm. Napster. LimeWire. You guys remember LimeWire? <laughs> It taught me what a virus was. Jeff Bezerwitz has a new coin on the scene. Do your way. Do your way? What does that mean? What is that, man? Are you talking about Jeff Bezos? You be coding your, your messages. <laughs> it is. It is? I'm not sure, man. Do you have a pattern? Do I have a pattern? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, man. Ouch. Yeah, ouch, ouch, ouch. Haha, <laughs> guy was beast. He became my favorite character. No talent, all hard work. Yep. Rock Lee. Started from the bottom. Became an elite ninja. It made me want to be a crypto ninja. You know what I'm saying? You made some comments on Barnbridge last stream. Good time for a dub digital video? Question mark? We need that analysis, bro. Sounds interesting. Yeah, I know. I know. Barnbridge. 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 Yeah, you know, like, hey, guys. So, like, I'm trying to up my content. Um, I was thinking about doing, like, daily. But... The problem is, like, the really edited videos, they take so long to do. They take, like, two days, man. Like, it's not very conducive. It burned me the hell out last time. So I'm trying to maybe do, do daily, like, where I touch, like, news and maybe briefly coins. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I'm trying to get, like, more content out, but, like, content that doesn't freaking murder me. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll, I'll do, like, this live stream still, and I'll still do in-depth analysis on certain coins, probably, like, community coins. I'm just trying to think of different ways where I can, like, do more sustainable content because I was getting tired as hell, man. But yeah, Barnbridge sounds cool. Um, Only 10 million, right? We can pull it up. It's Bond. Word is Bond. 33 dollars. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you just need 10 of them. 200, 300 bucks gets you into 1 million club on Barnbridge. You, you, other protocols use it to Minimize risk in DeFi protocols. You know, institutional investors ever get in DeFi, which is an if, but if they do, this would be interesting to them, right? I don't expect a regular retail person to quite understand what this is, at least most of them, right? Risk mitigation usually isn't like a sexy topic. A barn bridge, yeah, interesting stuff. And they got audits, man. They got like code audits done, like multiple of them looking at their website. So yeah, definitely on the chopping block. But like, What's more important, new coins or like the community coins I cover? What do you guys like? I don't know. Jake C, five bucks. Bless up, King. Hey, appreciate you. Always appreciate it, guys. Thank you for helping me cover the expenses of this channel. Bond is Barn Bridge. Look at the TVL on DeFi Pulse. It's outpacing others for sure. Yeah, and it's relatively, I mean, it dropped. That's why people are like scared. They're like, oh, why to do that? I'm not looking at the volume, man, and like the low supply. I mean, what? 10 million. What's a coin like that? What is 10 million? I mean, that's half the amount of Bit as Bitcoin. Yo, the live stream comedy right now. Ha 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 ha. I just added that because, you know, comedy. Comedy's funny. I know. 21 people. Where are all the homies at, man? Where are all the homies at? I don't know. But yeah, that's it. Just got a new digs. Uh, if you guys don't know, I did an interview today with Josiah Digibyte Foundation, and he's the chief 
fun officer. <laughs> oh, it was a good time. It was a good time. We talked some good stuff. Talked NFTs actually a lot. Way more than I thought we would. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. I don't got much more. It's been fun. It's been about two hours. I, I'm going to cap it here, but it's been fun. Um, let's keep a lookout. I keep on trying to push that merch through. I know, I know. It's coming. I swear. I've been doing work. I ain't just talking at my ass, okay? I'm doing I'm doing it. I got all the designs. It's a pigeon staring at me. Sorry. I got ADD. But, like, yeah, you know, working on the merch, um, live streams. I'm going to keep it. Keep it funky. I'm gonna try to switch up the the content. My my thing's crypto news macro trends, and I haven't been doing crypto news. Okay, that's the thing. I get it. I get it. So more crypto news, more daily, more digestible, more frequent content. And then yeah, I'll just add that so I have like a more comprehensive coverage because there's, there's holes in the coverage, but I got burned the hell out from doing all this. I've been doing this for a year. I started off with 26 followers. <laughs> oh, God damn, bro. Like I was doing, I started out like three videos a day. That was unsustainable, man. So I, I had to take like, you know, took a little break from the heavy processing, but yeah, I was pretty consistent with the live streams and stuff and shout out to my day ones and the real homies who showed up still coming to this videos during the bear market, you know? Real recognize real guys, real recognize real. Please hit that like button. That's a great idea. You know how YouTube want you spitting out videos every day to LOL live be great. Yeah, I know. Like the, the algos unforgiving, man. So like I'm I'm trying to mix it up. Um grow the channel to like a a more respectable size. But you know, at the same time it's like I do want like followers of substance too, you know. You, you guys know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But hey, until next time. Talk to you later. Peace.